Hey everybody, this is Transformatron bringing you another video review, and today we're going to be taking a look at the album Singular Act 1 by Sabrina Carpenter. Now, as always, before we get into the actual album, a little bit of background information about said album. Um, it was released on November 9th, 2018. It's around 25 minutes, which is acceptable because there's only 9 songs. Um, singles from this include Almost Love and Sue Me, and she did help write all nine of the songs on this album. And so, it is called Singular Act 1. Singular Act 2 comes out this month, July 2019, on the 19th. Excuse me. So, when that one does come out, I will be doing a review of that one as well. So... Yeah. Alrighty. So, take a quick look at the tracks. Okay. So, for my top three favorite songs on this album, uh, my first favorite one is Almost Love, which is the first song on the album. Um, this song's really, really fun. It's got a really, really good beat to it. Um, yeah, and it's really fun to crank up loud. Um, Paris is my second favorite song on this album. It's also really fun and really fun to crank up loud because it's got a really good beat to it as well. Um, and then my third favorite is Bad Time. Um, that's... Also, one that sounds really fun, and it's also fun to turn up loud because of the beat and everything. So, um, my least favorite three songs on this album are my first, my absolute least favorite on this album is track three, Hold Tight. Um, I can't stand this song. It doesn't sound good. I'm sorry. It doesn't. If you like this song, I'm sorry. It, I can't stand it. It does not sound good at all. Mm -mm. Nope. Um, my second favorite, or sorry, second least favorite song on this album is track five, Perfect. Um, now this one, I, it's not bad. It's just not, yeah, yeah. it's just boring. Kind of stupid. Same with, um, my third least favorite track, Eight Mona Lisa, or sorry, track seven. I said she helped write all nine songs. She helped write all eight songs. There's eight songs on this, not nine. She helped write all eight. Sorry, I wrote nine in my notes for some reason. Ah, oh, please don't my mind. Oh well, that's okay. Nobody, it's fine. Oh boy. Okay. So here's the back cover, as you can already see. Sabrina Carpenter, Singular Act 1. Sabrina Carpenter, Singular Act 1. Um, Sabrina Carpenter, Singular Act 1. Um, I like this cover. I think it looks pretty cool. Kind of how everything else is blurred except for her. I'm going to take a quick look at the inside. Um, I, like this, I like the design on the CD. I think it's really cool. Get an up close and personal look at it. It's pretty cool. Um, the back of the booklet shows you the same picture and same track listing that's on the back. Or I guess this should say same format of track listing. Quick look on the inside. Got the, um, got the lyrics, which is nice. Got a nice picture of her. Lyrics. More pictures of her, more lyrics, more pictures of her, there you go, another picture of her, more lyrics, lyrics for all the songs on the album. Now here, I'll let you read this.
Alright, if that wasn't enough time, you can just go ahead and pause the video, I guess. And I think... I'm trying to look for them. I thought there was... Nope. Okay. But yeah, that's just the booklet. Nothing super, super special. Um, but yeah, I would definitely recommend this buying this album. Um, I would give this album an 8 out of 10. Um, I think it's really good. Um, and I think that Act 2 will be even better. Um, I would definitely let, recommend listening to the songs on this album, like, definitely Almost Love, Paris. Um, I would also recommend listening to Diamonds Are Forever, which is the eighth and final song on this album. That one's also a fun one to listen to. And also track four, Sue Me. That one's also really fun. And I think that one's got a good message to it, too. Well, sort of. Um, now, you can get this, like, on... I know you can get it on iTunes for the digital copy. Um... The CD, however, was a Target exclusive, so you can't get it, oh well, you can also get it on Amazon, it looks like. But I think at first you can only get it at Target. But yeah, so at first it was a Target exclusive, and I think that's what Act 2 is going to be as well. So just keep that in mind if you want to get the, um, the, um, uh, this thing, CD, the physical copy. That's what I was trying to say. Wow. Anyway, um, I don't think I really have anything else to say about this album. It's not really that long, so I don't really have anything else to talk about. Um, remember that you can find me on Instagram at Mixmaster336. Thanks for watching, and remember to keep an eye out for my next review.